Hey, Leo. Welcome to your love messages, your rainy day love messages. We're celebrating Valentine's Day over here, and it doesn't have to be romantic. Nope. And you don't have to be single. You could be a part of a couple. You could be single. I hear some of you guys being like, oh, I'm so single <laughs> in my head. That's what I hear. I love you guys. Um, all right. So if this resonates, collaborate somehow with my energy, whether that's leaving a little comment or hitting the like button or subscribe if you want to see me again. But I think the most important thing, it does help the algorithm, helps the message get out to your fellow Leos. But the most important thing is that your energy is collaborating with mine. And when, when our energies are mixing and you're claiming this reading, that is manifestation, baby. So Leos, love messages. Right away, we have the work card. This is putting some work into it somehow. That looks different for all of your different scenarios. But we're going to read the energy. This is a general energy for everybody. Some of you guys are online dating. Some of you guys are just like getting therapy, actually, putting the love into yourselves. Um, kind of getting out of a place, a hard place. You got the five of cups, but it came out reverse. Maybe that means you're getting out of it and very intentionally. Some of you guys are going to be turning to your faith systems, whatever religion you were as a child or that you have trust in. And some of you guys might be a little greasy at it. Not greasy, squeaky. <laughs> Please don't be greasy at it. That's just creepy. But this rolls over institutions and faith systems. So... It's Taurus energy. It's very grounded. So it's like basically, you know, whether it's going back to church or doing a rain dance outside your house, but bringing in healing and calling out to spirit in the physical plane, doing things in the physical plane to cement your spiritual beliefs. That's what that is. Finally, the words come to me. Because what's coming to you is love. This is the Ace of Cups. It's one of my favorite cards, as you can tell, because I'm beaming. So you've got love coming to you. But I think what you are so deeply in right now is a realization that how you treat yourself and how you heal is going to determine the quality of love that you're bringing in. Because it's happening. It's happening soon. This wants to come out. Ah! Because it's, it's your card. This is the strength card and it's ruled by Leo. You are so deeply in your own energy right now. That's what you're working on. Is you are, you're having fun. And I know some of you guys are not having fun yet, but you will be. Some of you guys are really working hard on yourselves. And uh, all of you are in your own ways. Actually, I will say all of you are. And some of you guys are doing that by way of getting your energies out there and receiving it. So getting advice, going to therapy, going to whatever your version of therapy is, whether it's group therapy or going to churches or temple or wherever it is. But it has something to do with others. Some of you guys are going clubbing, you know, because just dancing and sweating it out feels so good. So I think that there is definitely an element of others. A lot of you Leos are so naturally extroverted, so it's not a big surprise, but you're going to get a lot of healing. And what you're doing is you're not only putting yourself out there for others to collaborate with you and for this love to happen, but at the same time, you're getting healing. You're coming out. You're dancing yourself right out of disaster. You're dancing yourself out of that disappointment and you are, you are getting so far away from it. It's beautiful. So things didn't work out with your past relationship. They didn't work out the way you thought they did. You guys might even gone down that path a while, maybe in denial or something. I mean, some of you guys were in a little bit of denial. I'll say that. But it, you're like, damn it. I, it, it was not the one. And we, I thought this was going to, I really am ready for the one. I'm ready to invest in a person and create something with them. And that's going to happen. So you're not going to be wallowing. You're coming out of this disappointment. You're dancing yourself out of it. You're, yeah, you're coming out of that conflict because the truth is things couldn't grow in that environment. You know, it's like it was parched. You know, there was not enough rain. There was not enough. You weren't getting watered. <laughs> I'm not really on top of it with the metaphors today, but you know what I'm talking about? You weren't going to grow there. So I think this realization is just like, it's cementing you more and more into your belief systems. 
and you're going to really see it on the surface too. I think people, the way they react to you. Let's get some um, fresh deck. What's this cups? What's this love? Oh my gosh, we got the judgment card. Huge major arcana. There's only 22 messages like these in the deck. This is life changing. This is surrendering to something completely special and different. It's almost like you needed to lose your way. You needed to lose your way in order to really recognize it when it comes, when all of a sudden the path appears. That's very clear. Yep. You needed to, I, so there's a sense of like, um, some of you hitting your bottom, a bottom type of place of like complete surrender right now. I just have to breathe. Complete surrender right now. And then all of a sudden everything changes. The energies change. Different people surround you. Different opportunities. Something special is happening. Yep. You're getting what's due to you. The Ace of Pentacles. That's a huge gift from the universe. And that is justice, baby. And justice is ruled by Libra energy and it's all about rebalancing the scales. Some of you guys, if you're going through a divorce or you're going through any legalities, it's gonna turn out really good for you. I have to say that because justice does rule over contracts and illegalities and all that. But it's really about those scales balancing and righteously. This is gonna be really beautiful. I'm excited for you guys and you deserve this and you know it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon for your March readings are just around the corner. Take good care of yourselves. Enjoy your Valentine's Day.